My friend and I decided to spend the weekend away from Malta. We decided to go to Bruges in Belgium. Bruges is located on the northern part of Belgium, which is an hour away from its center, Brussels. Bruges is distinguished by its canals, cobbled streets, and medieval buildings. Good morning! Good morning vlogs over here today in Bruges in Belgium. So we're on our day one. Actually, it's not day one, but it's day two. Ata, ata. Day two na namin. Yesterday night we came here. We are here. So mga ano, at around 7 in the evening at sobrang lamig. Ngayon mga 7 degrees yata yung or 4 degrees in temperature today. Pero enjoy naman. So far, the place is really nice. It's really quiet. And we, we are staying in a quiet neighborhood as you can see. And this is, that's where we that one. That's where we stay. So right now, hinihintay ko lang si Nesuji kasi naiwan niya ang kanyang bonnet and you can't really afford to have a bare head at this point. Pag wala kang protection sa ulo, it will be a mortal sin kasi sobrang lamig. As you can see, puro fog yung paligid. The weather year-round in Bruges is characterized as chilly and damp. It was November when we came, and it was really cold, around 4 degrees at night. Accordingly, the best time to visit Bruges is from June to August, when the weather is mild and the trees are green. The weather in Bruges is chilly. You can warm up your morning by having some hot chocolate. We visited the old chocolate house, which is one of the known tea rooms and chocolate store in Bruges. In here, you'll get the experience making your own hot chocolate. You will be given a cup of hot milk and you will whisk the chocolate drops into it until it dissolves. It was a nice experience overall. We also ordered waffle, which makes up for a perfect winter breakfast. We also went on the east side of the city, where the windmills are. Among the four windmills, it is only the St. Janus Mill, which still standing on its original place today. The mill is still fully functional and now houses a museum. However, we're not able to get in because it's only open from April to September. Another astounding structure in Bruges is the Church of St. Magdalene. Yes, it's inside the Church of St. Magdalene. And yes, there is a swing by the altar. Cool, isn't it? Our visit to Bruges will not be complete without a boat trip on the Bruges canals, the arteries of the city. It's nice to discover Bruges from a different perspective. The truth is, after a day or two of discovering Bruges by foot, it still feels different to see it from the canal. The tour ran for half an hour in which the captain took us to the most beautiful spots on the water. Along the way, he also gave explanation of what we've seen, which makes it a lot more meaningful and educational. I also enjoy going under different bridges, which are tons by the way. So for those of you who are planning to go to Bridge, I highly recommend for you to go grab the boat tour. You will surely enjoy it. It's worth it and you will fall in love with Bruges even more.
before we went home, we bought some Belgian chocolates to bring home to our friends and families. Yeah, I splurged. Guilty here. It was a lovely weekend, Bridge. Thank you. You are lovely.